This man is on a mission to do good with capoeira so he teaches people in need in the streets of Rio de Janeiro. We have many cases that we could uh, look at as success. For example, children in prisons who after they come out of prison, they get in touch and said that they found a job and they got their life straight together. Uh, also homeless people who eventually, by being in capoeira, decided to leave the streets and find a job and find a place to stay. Other than being a great capoeira player with experience teaching all over the world, Mr. Ferdua mentors homeless, LGBTQ, people that are dealing with drug addictions, and prisoners for a juvenile prison. I'm Ferradura, I come from Rio de Janeiro. It's a typical third world country, but it has a lot of uh, slight differences from what people expect. You don't see monkeys and snakes and crocodiles walking down the street. But you do see a lot of social disparities. You do see a lot of rich people with very fancy cars uh, along with ghettos and poor people, slums, homeless. It can be dangerous. It's a city known for its violence, but also known for its beauty. I've had a chance to ask him a few questions right after this great capoeira session. He told me a funny story of how he got into capoeira. When I was a teenager, I first saw capoeira in a street fight, in a school fight. Uh, some friends entered into a battle and everybody just started shouting, capoeira versus karate, capoeira versus karate. And later on, many years later, I found out that the guy who was fighting capoeira was actually the son of a very famous master called Nestor Capoeira. And we became friends. Then, after a while, I met someone who actually introduced me to a capoeira school and I started training in a very unique environment in Copacabana, which is a very well-known neighborhood in Rio, with some of the most famous masters that people know around uh, nowadays. Get this, he started teaching capoeira abroad at the age of 18 with no formation. When I was a few years already into capoeira, but still a teenager, I moved to England and there weren't many capoeiristas at the time. There were about less than 50 capoeiristas in the whole of the UK. So we would gather and eventually whoever knew something would teach the others. So I began teaching capoeira back then in England as an 18 years old, maybe yeah, as a 17, 18 years old. Mr. Fedua developed his own method of teaching capoeira to kids. Then when I moved back to Brazil at, at 18, I had the opportunity to start teaching children, which at the time was something quite rare, especially for teaching toddlers. No, almost nobody or nobody that I knew actually taught toddlers, or especially the really young ones, like one year old ones. Uh, I started developing a way of teaching them by trial and error. There was no much sources, but there was books. So I started reading as much as I could about child psychology, about pedagogics, uh, and eventually I sort of figured out what could work out. And in time I entered uh, university to study education and developed the Brincadeira de Angola method which basically consists of several exercises uh, organized in order to develop children's potential. It's everything about developing their social, musical, cultural and corporal potential. I had to ask him, what changes have you seen in your students? What is your long-term dream or goal? Our next goal is to implement and develop the Capoeira Education School, which will be for children and teenagers 
to learn the social technology of capoeira, to learn how to teach, so they can become replicators. They can go to other communities, to other slums, and start teaching as well. And along with that, I just hope that many capoeira people find out, capoeira teachers all over the world, find out what an effective tool, what an effective educational tool they have in their hands, and start working with it to get a little bit of what we dream for our future, a little bit of social transformation. And the integration and inclusion of people in capoeira is a way to help them analyze their own life and put themselves together. Capoeira is not the cure, capoeira is not the remedy for anything, but it does help people to figure out that there is a way. The thing is, if you really want to improve your capoeira skills, this video is simply isn't enough. I found out that learning capoeira kicks combos will get you more confident in your body control. So don't miss out this video where you will learn the most dangerous kicks combo.